Okay, so I just wanted to show you um, a little shortcut uh, for looking for uh, scientific literature using Google Scholar. And so um, if you just type in Google Scholar, uh, this page will come up and you're gonna be looking for articles, not case law. Um, you can actually connect this to the MVCC uh, library database. So if I go up here to these three little lines and I go to um, settings and I select library links, mine is already here. If you just type in MVCC and who hit click, you should be able to add MVCC's uh, library here. And so any journal article that's free through MVCC, you will have access as long as that is clicked. Um, and let me just show you, uh, type in antimicrobial properties of garlic, okay? And you can see the first article that comes up, if I were to just click on this, um, it would take me to a page, here, let me just do it, where you see you have to purchase the article for 40 bucks, right? Um, but instead, if you have MVCC selected um, as your institution in, in this, you can see over here on the right that you can get the full text article through our library. So if I click on that, it tells me that this is available through MVCC and it's through uh, right here, EBSCO, uh, EBSCO host. Um, so if I click on that, should take me right to the article. And it does. Oh, it does. So here it is. This is the full text article. Okay. Um, I find Google Scholar just a little bit easier to navigate uh, than the MVCC library database. I don't have to select a specific database to use. Um, it'll just search you know, all of Google. Um, let me just go back here for a second. And let me just take you down to a, a different one. So um, the same thing down here. You know, if I decided to select this article, I can get it through MVCC. If it doesn't say full text at MVCC, you may, you may not be able to access it for free, at least. Um, sometimes it's free, sometimes it's not. It depends on the article. So if I click on, oh, how about this one? So in this particular one, looks like I'm able to access the whole article. Uh, let's try to see if it's a review or a primary source. Um, so it's from the, the Journal of uh, Applied and Environmental Microbiology. And it looks like there's an abstract that's pretty long. We have a table, a couple tables. This looks like this looks like the primary literature. Yeah. So, like I said, um, it really depends on the article. Um, sometimes, even if it doesn't say full text at MVCC, you may still have access to it. So don't be afraid to click on it. Um, just be aware, you know, you shouldn't have to spend money on buying an article. Uh, there's plenty of articles available that will be helpful um, in your studies. So yeah, just link up Google Scholar to, to our MVCC databases just to give you uh, a broader access uh, to, to the literature. Okay, you'll have to use um, the literature for all of your lab reports this semester. And it's good to have, you know, we require at least one or two, but it's good to have, you know, a couple. Um, the more you have, kind of the better. Uh, so get used to researching and looking for articles.